and read out radio operators network and is a nationwide disaster preparedness network made up of patriot oriented radio operators. So Amron phonetically, Alpha, Mike, Romeo, Romeo, Oscar, November. This is a directed net, so please hold any traffic until that control station. Hey preppers, forward. patriots, partisans, Amron operators. How you guys doing? Uh, I've had several folks ask if I would cover the items that I had talked about in a workshop in Marble this summer. And several folks have asked about the contents of my comms go bag. And so I'm going to go over that with you guys. As you can see, I've got two go bags here, one on the left, one on the right. The one on the left is actually Mrs. Schmidt's comms go bag. It's a very simple a basic bag that anybody could and should have with them and of course the one on the right has uh, some things that you might not find in a normal comms go bag but might give you some ideas and answer some of your questions so let's start with the first common go bag that pretty much anyone can put together you have a basic baofeng UV5R. It's, it's uh, not the plus model. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. And of course, this has the removable uh, antenna. And I'll show you what we use and what I recommend here in just a moment. Of course, the radio, it would be a comms go bag without communications. So inside the main compartment, several important things you need to have. First of all, you need to have some 550 cord. I recommend about 50 feet of that. That's so that you can hoist your external antenna, the roll-up J-pole, up into a tree, get some more elevation and better coverage. I always try to upgrade the antennas and I keep the original rubber duck antenna in the bag just in case, in case I break one or lose one. Uh, after you hook up your roll up J-pole, you might throw your radio back in your bag and realize that you'd left your antenna laying on the ground five miles back where you did your last uh, comms connection. So you have a spare with you. I always want to be prepared to connect to any kind of battery or power source that I encounter. So if I come across a, uh, an abandoned vehicle or some other 12 volt power supply, I can connect with the cigarette lighter plug in and this is what's called a battery eliminator. I went ahead and cut the cord and I put Anderson connectors on here and I'm going to be uh, covering Anderson connectors specifically in a separate video. continue on with batteries. If I'm away from home, I want to be able to make sure I have communications for up to several days, maybe a week or even 10 days. And this will do it. This pack was, uh, I got these on eBay for $20. It's a great rugged little pack. One of my favorite colors, coyote tan. And I have two long life, extended life batteries for the bow fangs. These will also fit in the, the newer BFF8s, the high power uh, radios, as well as the UV5 uh, bow fang radios. These are the 3800 milliamp long life batteries. Wanna have two of these plus the original battery, the normal life battery in the radio. This right here is something that you don't want your kit, any communications kit to be without for your HT, your handheld radio. These are limited, these radios are limited to five watts and they have the newer higher power radios that will go up to you know eight watts, multiple tri-power. But when you add a roll up J-pole antenna, this will increase the gain. You elevate that up into a tree, get it up higher and that's gonna even do that much better for you. Something else that should be in every go bag kit 
are roll up uh, Velcro type straps. You can buy these in a pack that has like 30 of them at Lowe's. On a roll, you just peel off what you need. This is a Nelson dual band J pole, roll up J pole antenna. They're available on eBay for about $27 with shipping. And these are amazing little roll up J pole antennas. It will really increase your range. Of course, no comms go bag is complete without a roll of electrical tape. Multiple uses. Finally, in the battery department, I included a, a uh, double A pack. It looks just like the long life extended battery, but only this opens up where you can put double A batteries into it. You want to use alkaline batteries, not rechargeable batteries for these. The rechargeable batteries don't have the amperage or the voltage rather that you need to get a good full signal and the radio does not like being used with rechargeable batteries. So have some alkalines with you. I also keep the standard Baofeng uh, charger in the go bag uh, just so that I have accountability of it because we have uh, several of these radios. We don't need several chargers. One or two chargers sitting on the desktop is sufficient to keep all the radios charged. And that way if you go somewhere else, you've got access to, uh, if you have access to 110, you can plug in and you can charge this up and you have it with you. Now one thing that you should have that's really important also is your SOI, that's your signals operating instructions. And this one is printed out. You can take these down to like FedEx Kinko's. They'll print these out for you and put a protective uh, clear cover on it for you. Now, of course, we keep everything inside of Ziploc bags for waterproofing. They'll even comb bind it for you. Now, at Amron, or at the Redoubt Ranch, we have a comb binder, and uh, we've had these printed up, and where we go places to do workshops or training, we'll take these and uh, we'll make these available in pretty printed copy. Uh, we don't normally sell them, but that's something that we might be adding to the Amron store. So Mrs. Schmidt also has a copy of the SOI in here with her. Something else we'll cover in a later, uh, a later video is the programming. We use Chirp for programming and of course this is a uh, little cheat sheet so you can find out what uh, what channel belongs to or what the uh, abbreviation uh, is that shows up on the screen. On the other side it shows what that abbreviation stands for and of course there's your frequencies and your offsets and your PL tones uh, at a quick glance. So that should also be part of your uh, communications SOI. That pretty much wraps up your basic comms go bag. That's Mrs. Schmidt's kit, and now I'll get into mine.